Good morrow, editing Laura here. I'm actually just popping in really quickly before I start this vlog, letting you know that there are some places in this vlog where I just forgot to explain things, or we just let our jokes get ahead of us and we forgot to say things. So you're gonna see me here, editing mode, just kind of explaining things and filling in the blanks. Without further delay, let's get to the video. Good morning, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Laura, and it's Pumpkin Spice Day! Did you know pumpkin flavored stuff is starting to come back in season at coffee places? I can smell it on the air. <laughs> so, <laughs> shut up. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> is that shit? I, the ooh, like a bloodhound. What the fuck? It's like when potheads smell something burning and they all just kind of pop up and start sniffing around like they're hunting. I can smell the pumpkin spice. It's my white bitch. <laughs> so, for those of you that didn't catch last year's video, this video is a celebration of all things Pumpkin Spice and Pumpkin Spice Day. What is Pumpkin Spice Day? Well, let me take a moment to explain. Pumpkin Spice Day is the affectionately shortened version of Pumpkin Flavored Stuff is Starting to Come Back in Season at Coffee Places Day. This phrase and hashtag was made popular by rock star Andy Bierzak on September 3rd, 2012. I famously coined the P... I can't, it's a hashtag. P Spice. Okay, so I is have a hashtag. Let me, let, me, let me see if I can... I, I want to know where it all started here. So we're going we're gonna to go to... Uh, it goes back years. Uh, so it is hashtag P F. S I S T C B I S A C P D A Y. Mm -hmm. And that stands for pumpkin flavored stuff is starting to come back in season at coffee places day. Though the popular pumpkin spice hashtag wasn't made until 2012, there's earlier documentation of Andy Bierzak loving pumpkin spice, dating all the way back to October 5th, 2009, when he said, Drinking pumpkin spice frap. How I love pumpkin spice. Of any kind. Candles, pie, beverages, delicious. Those candles are delicious, huh? I tweeted uh, in September, September 4th, 2017, happy that half a decade later, P-F-S-I-S-T-C-B-I-S-A-C-P-D-A-Y lives on for so many of you. It is truly my greatest social media accomplishment. Each year, between September 3rd and September 6th, Twitter is flooded with this hashtag. It's a little confusing about what day it happens on, because like sometime around September 5th. So of course it came as a shock that on August 28th, Beerzak tweeted that the apparently legendary Pumpkin Spice Day had come early this year. Through saying this, Beerzak congratulated himself and fans for seemingly bringing fall in early. We are on a Pumpkin Spice adventure today, and we are currently at Target. Target! Joe and Andy say Target is over with. We are at Target. <laughs> uh, I will take Target down with me my dying breath. They can rip it from my cold, dead hands. Fight me. We are at Target today, hoping to find some pumpkin spice flavored treats. And possibly the Starbucks in here. Are we going to Starbucks in here? If it's built. Okay. They are building it. If possibly. not, we're going to go to the one. But we plan on Target, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, and then we're going to end at Cheesecake Factory and see if they have a pumpkin spice or cheesecake. Or tacos. Pumpkin spice tacos. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's not. I've eaten pumpkin before, but not for tacos. Pumpkin spice noodles. Mm -hmm. So let's head into Target and see what pumpkin spice treats we can find. This is just you. It's me. It's me in a book. Oh, I love it. So many clown things though. I know, I'm not a fan of clowns. Who looks where? What? <laughs> yeah, well, Target was a bust. They don't have their pumpkin spice stuff out yet. But maybe the Starbucks does because I saw the sign. What are you doing? I'm, I'm not verbally commenting, but I'm doing with facial features to comment on your video. Oh, oh you know what? Here's everything. Here's everything. There's 
too many worshiping and not enough cuss words. I know. What? Is that what you're getting? No. I'll be right back. Hold that back. Where do you go? I'm looking for my favorite pumpkin spice lady. Where are you doing it? She's going to get a thing. Are we getting pastry one here? They got mm. pumpkin cream cheese muffin. That looks good. I'm going to get one of those. I think that's the only two pumpkin-y, whatever-y, nutter. I already think it's going to be, um, I guess I can have coffee. They all have coffee. They all have a little coffee. Yeah, I don't want any coffee. I don't need coffee. Hey, Ken. Um, can I get a pumpkin treat? It's good. Is it? What is it? How about now? Okay, so we did Target. <laughs> Put my finger on that. She doesn't care. Alrighty, so we tried Target. Target did not have the pumpkin spice out yet. I don't have Halloween out yet. Yeah, nothing. Walmart nothing. is like two months ago had Halloween. It was like, fuck y'all. Walmart push has out, Christmas push out. out. <laughs> Walmart has Christmas out. Yeah, exactly. God. But their Starbucks in Target did have their pumpkin the, 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 the. butter pumpkin. Did have their pumpkin spice stuff out. Oh, good. I'll pop it in. It's a pumpkin with cream cheese in the center. Wait, wait. <laughs> but it's a pumpkin muffin with cream is cheese. Is the baby still alive? You see. <laughs> that is delicious. And we also got the pumpkin spice frappuccino with soy. We're both lactose intolerant. And he got a tea because he doesn't like coffee anything, Coffee. even though it's pumpkin with a coffee aftertaste. That's what gets you, the aftertaste from hell. Look, if there's coffee in this, then I'm a virgin. <laughs> so I think we're going to try Cheesecake Factory, see if they have pumpkin spice yet, and then maybe Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Cheesecake Factory did not have their pumpkin spice cheesecake yet. Apparently, they only get bum, them bum, in October. Bum. Later in October. Later in October. So, we're just gonna go eat and possibly stop by Dunkin' Donuts or something because we just haven't had enough pumpkin spice today. Oh, good God. Laura here again just to tell you that after Cheesecake Factory, we did go eat just like I said. My friend and follower Enigma Soul Cosplay just recently moved into town and her housewarming was supposed to be at 7 o'clock. 
It was seven o'clock when we finished eating. So what we did was we got in the car, we decided we'll go to her place, we'll stay for a little bit, and then we might go to Dunkin' Donuts. If Dunkin' Donuts is closed, we were gonna round off the trip at Sheets. Which would have been fine. Except we ended up staying at her place until 2 a.m. Yes, Sheets was open at 2 a.m., but we were all super tired. And we did a few like little short videos, so I'll pop those in right here. <laughs> I made it. I'm an hour late, but I made it. I'm glad she made it. Yes. And I brought you candy corn. Oh, something to nosh on while you study. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> But by mistake, we ended up cutting the pumpkin spice portion of our day very short. So because the pumpkin spice vlog got cut short because we lost track of time and then lost track of what we were doing, I'm going to taste two more pumpkin spice flavored things for you guys right here, right now. So the first pumpkin spice flavor thing that I'm going to try for you lovely little ghosts is this. I went to the Christmas tree shop. I wanted everything. But this was one of the most unique pumpkin spice flavored things. If you remember from my Vlogoween series, I actually did a taste testing of pumpkin spice flavored things. And I'm almost positive that there was a type of pumpkin spice popcorn, but it wasn't this. It was like in a bag, I think but I tasted them in a haunted sanitary. I'll link that up in the card and in the description just in case you want to see that if you just can't get enough of pumpkin spice like I can't. But this is a pumpkin spice caramel popcorn. So if you look real close, I'm going to put this up close to the camera so you can see, there's literal pumpkin spice. There's spices all in the bottom of this container. So I'm super excited. I love caramel popcorn. Well, like I said in my Jelly Belly nail video, I don't actually like the texture of popcorn. I don't like the kernels that get stuck in your teeth, but I love the flavor and the smell. So I love the flavor and smell of caramel popcorn. We'll see if I love the flavor and smell of pumpkin spice caramel popcorn. The entire bottom is spices. Look at that. That looks so cool. So I've never tried this specific type before, and I'm going to give it a try right now. When you take the lid off, it's just like, bam, pumpkin spice. Just like a smack in the face. <laughs> oh, how I wish you could smell this. Mmm. I don't know if it smells good or if it smells like potpourri. I, it's. I'm getting like Yankee candles in the fall. But I guess that's to be expected because pumpkin spice is literally used in all sorts of things, including candles. So let's try one. Tried to get a really puffy one so that I wouldn't have much of a kernel inside. We'll see if my theory proves correct. Okay. Hmm.
there's a very strong cinnamon and the cinnamon gives it sort of like a spice instead of just like a regular pumpkin spice but it's not bad because the caramel sort of switches that it's kind of yummy I did get a kernel stuck in my tooth with that one piece of popcorn though but <laughs> it was good it was yummy it's kind of addictive too I want another piece Mm. Okay, I really like it. The more you eat of it, the more you're like, mmm. And yes, it was opened, but it was not opened by me. Much like other snacks that I've tried on this channel, other people try these snacks before I get to. So that's why they were opened. I want to eat that popcorn and like drink fruit punch with it. It gives me like these nostalgic after school vibes like I think it was pops that they would give us and we'd eat pops and drink like the red fruit punch and it'd be so delicious and it's just like I'm craving fruit punch now because I tasted that popcorny flavor this next one I'm so I am so excited for do you hear me so excited extremely excited I'm probably gonna eat the entire thing tonight <laughs> so the first place that I saw advertising anything fall Halloween pumpkin spice anything was sheets and I really meant to get by sheets before the posting this video to try all their pumpkin spice flavored things but one thing that I did find when I stopped by there before August 28th was this pumpkin flavored M&M's. Love it. Look at it. <laughs> so, I'm going to give the pumpkin flavored M&M's a try. Okay, first off, they come in three colors. It's an orange, a white, and a brown. I'm going to give the orange a taste first because pumpkin, orange. I'm sure they all taste the same though. It's M&M's. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that is so good. That tastes like a pumpkin pie. Like legit. Tastes like the crust tastes like the pie filling and tastes like the whipped cream on top it is oh oh that's so cool okay so the brown is the crust the orange is the pumpkin pie filling and then the white is the whipped cream it makes all the sense of the world now oh my gosh <laughs> duh this is so good okay um I forgot to look I think it's gonna be white chocolate but I'm just gonna bite it in half Mm -hmm. it's white chocolate Which, if you remember I'm not supposed to eat but it's so good that was the yummy licious oh my gosh I love those I can't wait to eat more of those those were so good so an overview of this pumpkin spice day we went to Target, we looked for pumpkin spice treats, they didn't have any out yet. We went to Starbucks and got a pumpkin spice muffin and then a pumpkin spice frappuccino. Then we went by the Cheesecake Factory, went to see if they had their pumpkin cheesecake out yet, they did not. Then after Cheesecake Factory it all kind of derailed because, because we were hungry, we were getting headaches, so we went to go eat and after we went to eat we realized that we were running late for the housewarming party, we went to the housewarming party and then we were there until 2 a.m. So, then I got to try two really yummy special treats that were pumpkin spice flavored, or at least pumpkin flavored. So, it wasn't all a bust, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this pumpkin spice video just as much as you enjoyed last year's video, because I had so much fun making this one. If you have not used that hashtag on Twitter, please go ahead and use that hashtag on Twitter. Celebrate Pumpkin Spice Day, either by wishing everyone a happy Pumpkin Spice Day, or... I will pop that hashtag below me right here just in case you don't know it or go to your local coffee shop or your local sheets and get something pumpkin spice and tweet it 
if you do use the hashtag, please, please, please also at me so that I can see your post. I'd really, really like to see your post. I'd really like to see all your pumpkin spice flavored things. That's my task for you lovely little ghosts. Go out to your local coffee shop, donut shop, or sheets, or anywhere. Find something uniquely pumpkin spice or something that you really love that's pumpkin spice flavored and then tweet me a picture of it with Andy's infamous hashtag. So that was me, Serotonin Cosplay, and Logan Lander trying all the pumpkin spice flavor treats that we could possibly find in one day. Happy Pumpkin Spice Week because pumpkin flavored stuff is starting to come back in season at coffee places. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. Bye. Um. Did you? 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 Pumpkin spice. I went out. Pumpkin spice of uh, the holiday season. Yeah. No. Basic white bitches <laughs> assemble. You totally did. <laughs> you mean coming back in season? In season, I. That's Aren't being I cut out. Cut one? that out, please. She's, remember to cut she's that out. Straight up. Just I love God. Cut that out. <laughs> It's the ball cat. The ball cat makes me feel sad. You're, oh my god, delete that immediately. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Pretty okay. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, it is actually the first day of Pumpkin Spice Day when I'm filming. Wow. <laughs> wow. Never mind. I would get uh, my famous Pumpkin Spice, which was a large, I don't remember the terminology, tall, is that the word? Venti. Venti. A venti large. pumpkin spice. Iced latte Large. with 12 pumps of pumpkin syrup. Damn. it's a lot of pumps. Make you sick. Yeah. I wasn't very healthy back then. You guys knew me. Now? <laughs> okay. You know those tacos. We'll talk right now. Fuck pumpkin spice. Do the pumpkin spice thing. But can we get some tacos? <laughs> you know that taco joint. Taco. It's like they saw that I was filming and was like, let's turn the copyright music on. <laughs> yep. As I said, and I need to move this closer. I'm gonna be able to piece this together somehow. I know I am. Um, you may have noticed this throughout the video, most of the time in the background being played with. And it's just a dollar store styrofoam pumpkin that I carved the pumpkin spice hashtag into. And then on the other side, I did the Andy Black 2 Ghost of Ohio symbol that has AB and of course the outline of Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> I also have a glass straw because turtles. What they don't tell you people is that, you know, for muffin juice, all the flavor is left in the wrapper, so you gotta eat the wrapper. Hey! So. Nasty. That makes my mouth hurt. <laughs> I have reusable plastic straws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot stand the way the metal ones taste. Mm -mm. This one's a glass. It's nice. Pumpkin flavor treats are coming back in coffee. Just as much. Just. So we decided that we were going to go to. I have an Andy Black pumpkin. Hashtag P F S I S T C B I S A C P Day. spice you put on pumpkin go out to your local go so wait you don't what? like pumpkin spice